Laura. Hi. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. Tell me why you're excited, Laura. We have all the things coming. We have all the things coming. Do you want to tell this lovely audience what hey. things we have coming? Because I am very, very titillated. Well, right can now. I tell you the first thing that's happening? We're yes. going to Bali. We are going to Bali. We're going to go to like the tropical nature. Beautiful island. I'm Beautiful. so excited. So excited. And we are Can't going to wait. be shooting four episodes there, which will take us all the way through November. Well, I am in Australia and unfortunately we'll be separated again but we get to watch each other every week separated but not you in my mind <laughs> we're gonna use our toys <laughs> and coming up in the new year january 4 through 7 we will be at the avn expo show we have a booth for the, the podcast and for me and my merch so you can yes. come and hang out and meet laura and i so come get excited for that it's january 4 through 7 at resorts world in beautiful las vegas so we hope to be able to see you guys there we are going to be having meet and greets live interviews yes. we are going to have merch all the merch that you guys have yeah. been waiting and wanting to see and buy it's going to be available first at the convention and then we're figuring out some new things for the new year as well so stay tuned um and we hope that you guys will join us at the convention get ABN your tickets show. get your tickets uh there'll be a ticket in all of the descriptions whether you're watching on youtube or whether you're listening on an audio platform just check the description for where you can get your tickets we hope to see you there yeah Mwah. so maybe i'll just go get a tattoo while i'm here like a real one do it no <laughs> i'll get one with you i'll make the snake real i know this snake is dope the snake is you do dope. i actually need a snake. do really like the snake you know leave a comment write or call yeah. in should i get a snake tattoo on my thigh because i'm kind of living for it. welcome back one and all thank you for listening if you're new here this is the totally wholesome not dirty podcast and i'm your host molly stewart we define wholesome a little differently here and my guests span everywhere from the adult industry to the vanilla side of humanity. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. Word of mouth is what helps this podcast grow. So share with a friend, leave a comment, download an episode, or anything you can to help with the algorithm. I release episodes every Monday, and if you're subscribed, you'll never miss an episode. You don't want to miss out on all the crazy conversations that evolve here. Um, but that's enough for me, and let's get to today's guest. What do I should do? Oh, this is connected to that. It's cool. fine. Welcome back to the Totally Wholesome <laughs> Not Dirty Podcast. We are your hosts, Molly Stewart and Laura. Hey, welcome to Bali with Molly. Well, next year we we're talking about we have to do Bora Bora with Laura. Yes, <laughs> I'm starting to plan that now. This is this has been so friggin' awesome it's, so far. It's somehow <laughs> like actually better than I thought it was, and this is a little bit different than we normally shoot, obviously, because we're on location and we've never done like a podcast trip before, yeah. which is basically what this has turned into is like podcasting content trip with relaxation. Yeah. But all right. So you, so Laura has never been to anywhere outside of the U.S. really, except for like Mexico, right? Mexico is the furthest I've been. And you went to like a resort. So it wasn't like in it. No, know? it was like, like being in the U.S., but yeah. like in Mexico still. Yeah. That's basically the only place that I had gone for the most part until I went to Australia for the like first time was I went to Mexico when I was a kid, yeah, and it was a resort, so it's like we never left the resort, nothing like that. And then when I went to Mexico what, back in September, it was like totally different. A and different so experience, much, almost like so. I wouldn't. I don't know if you can really say better because it's different. And I was also a kid, so it's like, you know, you want to be on a resort when you're a kid because you can just go around. Yeah, all you everything. can eat food. Yes. <laughs> I remember I was, thinking, I was like, I was like so fancy because it was like one of those all inclusive um, things. And so, and this was back in the day. So I could go to the bar and order my mom a pina colada. Back then? Yes. They didn't care? No. Oh, and that no. was cool because I could always, I felt so adult because I'd be like, one pina colada and one virgin colada. I was <laughs> yeah. like very like, oh, it's so fancy. <laughs> but um, like, I'm doing okay. big things here. So what we need to talk about is the trip itself because anyone who knows we have so much going to this side of the world whether it's like australia bali it's just that's where we are right now for those who don't know sorry i should have said that is bali bali indonesia Ooh. so should we talk about the flights girl where do we start the fact that we had to wake up at like 3 a.m oh my god like i it mean 
it was so miserable. Like, well, I wouldn't say like miserable, miserable. No, it mean, was I incredible. Think, I think if you spend any amount, like that amount of time on a plane, it's miserable. That's true. And I think like, you know, we're still gaining sensation back in our legs. I know. <laughs> they were so swollen. And also I'm trying to figure out how to like properly sit without flashing the camera. Hi guys. It's okay, you're wearing underwear. It's yeah. fine. It it, there's, there's nothing to see. But it's like, <laughs> I don't know. So <laughs> it's just like one of those things I said too. It's like, I love the destination. I hate the travel because it's like, I don't like planes. Airports are so crazy anyway. But we, it started off, you know, good footing. Like we were there way ahead of schedule. Yeah. It was totally fine. And then we fly. We were into, on it, people. Oh my God. But we, we fly into like our first uh, transfer spot. And number one, we had left early or left late, I'm sorry. So the plane had taken off late. Yes. And we we're like, don't worry, there's still like so much extra time like between flights. And then we get there and we sat on the tarmac for 40 minutes. It was <laughs> so stressful. And we're at the back of so the plane stressful. because I'm not bougie enough to buy us first class for well, tickets anywhere. I mean, you are, but you're practical. <laughs> so there's a difference. No, girl, like, no. <laughs> I, you don't even know. Like, I, I was just curious and I was like looking at, ooh, maybe business spurs might be kind of fun, at least for one of the lengths. Yeah. And no. <laughs> well, this is year one, ladies and gents. It is. By next year. See, that's why. This, you by know next what? year. So if you guys want to help us out and not suffer for the next flight we have to take somewhere, do you know what you can do? You can experience better hydration today by going to liquidiv.com and using code TWND at checkout <laughs> to save 15% and get free shipping, which has actually been awesome here. So if you guys know, like, Mexico, Bali, like, pretty much anywhere you know, that I've been traveling recently is like, don't drink the water. It's not good. It will hurt you. And so it's good to say extra hydrated. So I'm glad I brought so many of these. And Bali Belly is real, ladies and gents. Look oh, it up. Look it up. It's real. So I was reading about it. And luckily, we've been pretty blessed so far. I've been on those like charcoal tabs and Pepto prophylactically and all that. Fun word, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> but it's easy to get dehydrated, especially because it's so humid here so it's like you're sweating so much and it's hard to like remember to drink water so we are just constantly sweating right That's now we're say. in my bed yes. and it's really nice and cool in here i'm so happy to be here okay. <laughs> well and then uh you go outside and you're instantly just drenched in sweat yes it's like almost like you showered absolutely very tropical though and i think our skin and our hair is loving it i mean my skin is my breaking skin is, out my skin is not loving it at all but it's my very glowy like, would you like to be greasy the yeah. entire time that you're here yeah. sure i can make that happen for you you say grease i say glow get it out <laughs> Perfect. Oh, also, so something that I bought for this trip, because I didn't realize that they had it until recently, I got Liquid IVs. They have a sleepy time one. And that's been so, so helpful. So it's been so great because jet lag is crazy. So if you guys don't know, you know, whereabouts Bali is and stuff like that, we're basically, it was like 24 something total hours of travel, which is crazy. So luckily there's Wi-Fi on the planes and everything, but yeah. still just so long. And then your body's all messed up. We couldn't really, like, we were as tired, I guess, but not like tired enough to sleep because you're like wired and it's weird. And it's different. an adrenaline like. Those things knocked me out like and not in a bad way. You know like sometimes you take like a sleep aid and then you just feel gross the next day. I do that when I take like if I had like melatonin gummies and stuff like that. I can't do it because the next day I feel like. Foggy. I feel like I took like 100 grams of edibles the night before every time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're like am I awake? Is this a dream? But. <laughs> And that's actually really good and it didn't make us feel crappy, which is really nice. So I'm a huge fan. If you guys ever need some sleep help and hydration, I definitely recommend trying it out. It tastes really good too. It's super tasty. This one's watermelon, which I really, I really like this one. I'm like so hyped on, I think Ooh. guava and watermelon are my favorites. Watermelon's like one of my top faves, mm. I think. I love um, the green apple, the Ooh. kombucha one. The kombucha one. That's yes. really, really good. Help you poop. Tasty. <laughs> yeah, it helps you poop. <laughs> Speaking of poop. Speaking of poop. Did you know that you taking know that Pepto? Just... <laughs> did you know that Pepto makes your poop black? Oh my God, it does. <laughs> so, all right, so I didn't It really... pulls all the shit out, literally. And I didn't really know about um, charcoal chaps either, so I was reading about it before we left about like how to avoid Bali Belly and all that, because I was like, I don't want us to get all the way here and then just be sick the entire The whole time. trip. I mean, and that's totally possible, because mm -hmm. they say it lasts like five days. Yeah. So imagine, that's like the whole trip for yeah. me. And we've especially. Been, we've been great. It's been fantastic. The whole yeah. thing about the food. Let's knock on wood. Hold on. So <laughs> knock on wood. Yeah, knock on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
But, um, so the activated charcoal is interesting, like my man was telling me about it, and it's something like the way that it's, like, so porous and stuff like that basically kind of, like, absorbs everything, and apparently, like, one of the tabs, what did he say, is enough to cover, like, an entire football field or something crazy like that. Like, I don't wow. even, it's insane. So I don't even know, but it does make you poop black, much like Pepto-Bismol, so. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take that. We've been pooping black, but we feel great, so. <laughs> Small price to pay and better out than in. Yes, you know, answer. like I'm all yeah. no. Ooh. So yeah, we um, back to the flight situation. Oh. You know, we're on the we're Sorry, on the leg. <laughs> I was just going through it. Sorry, again. David. So, I'm going through it again in my head. So we're parked on the tarmac for like, thank you. Uh -huh. Got this little Clark Kent swoop going down for my bangs. My bangs do not like the humidity. They've just been like curling. <laughs> um, it's real hot. It's really hot. <laughs> but it's like my hair is a poof it's right now. Hot and like the AC in here is super nice. But yeah. oh, perfect weather for the pool. I keep going off on tangents. Anyway, so there's so many things to talk about. <laughs> there really are. And so we part, we're part in the tarmac and I've started stressing out because if y'all know anything about me, like travel stresses me out so much. It's like it inherently I know it's all going to be fine, but it doesn't stop the panic because I'm like, it's something I can't control. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you're sitting there helpless, I was like, I just want to get out of this plane and run. I yeah, just, she was run. about to hit the emergency exit <laughs> and just parachute out. It was serious. I was like, girl, just wait. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. <laughs> Frank, and then we're at the back of the plane, which is what we were getting to. So everybody just decides once it finally parks that they're just going to take their sweet ass time. Like, let's just have conversations in the freaking aisle. Yeah, let's go oh, super yeah. fucking slow. Like, can you not remember where your bag is? Do you not have other places to fucking be? Why are we having a party on the plane right now? We like, should. Anyway. And we ran. Oh, we Once we got off. So, we booked it so fast. Fuck the Stairmaster because that is what running up two flights of escalators will do for you while we're carrying like our heavy backpacks. Yeah. And, like, Seriously, fuck. imagine if we had our luggage though. Oh my God. That'd have been the most, that'd have been the worst part. Yeah. But so like, luckily, luckily we made it. But we made it. it. Was still just like, oh. Dripping my. in sweat, like almost like we aren't here in Bali. So we've been, you know, really dedicated to our water high <laughs> intake and our liquid IV. Yeah. And Which has been very good. So thank you, liquid IV. Thank Once you. Again, code thank you. TWND for 15% off and free shipping at liquidiv.com. <laughs> so we get on the next flight, and that's to Korea. Yes. Correct? And that was, I can't even remember how long it was. Over 10, 10 hours? hours. 10 it was over half. 10. 10 and a half. No, I think it was like 12 or something like that because the next one was eight. It was, yeah, it, it was, was so a much. lot. And so the Korean airport was amazing. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. It's so clean. It's so, so clean. pretty, and so had, like peaceful. So peaceful. No, Which not is, a peep. Because literally <laughs> it was like weird. you could hear a pin drop in yeah. the Korean airport. I was like, you could. This is crazy. Like we started stretching, like doing stretches on the floor of the airport because it was. Oh, it felt so, so good. We and needed that. There was that little little robot that was going around, being like, "I can so carry cute. your luggage and all this stuff." It was, it was adorable. adorable. It was so cute. And like the little kids were like playing with it. Yeah. And, like they were like, "Oh," and it like it was trying to help people. Yeah. Like it was just dope. So cool. Like very high tech, <laughs> very chill. Everybody was super friendly and super nice, and it was awesome. What's like? What's that like? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I can't even imagine like sitting on the floor at the Vegas airport. Ew. Like, uh, I know. I think that's how you get herpes. It is. I've read. <laughs> I've read all about it. I'm kidding. <laughs> so yeah. Then Korea. Then. Then Bali. Then Bali. But and that airport was really cool. Very small. Very small. Very yes. um beautiful though. A lot of art. A lot yeah, of cool so sculptures. Much beautiful art. It was gorgeous. And that's like, kind of like the start and the smell the as soon as you get on. Oh yes, there is a Bali smell. Like my man was telling me this and I was like, I don't know what a Bali, Bali smell is. And he's like, well, once you get here, you'll know. And you do know, like as you soon knew. as you get out, it's like very floral and just try, like it's just, it's absolutely wonderful. If you ever get the chance, mm -hmm. highly recommend because it's so beautiful here. But I think- Kind of like incense. It was, yeah. A little bit. A Not little so bit powerful though. Just yeah. very earthy. Yeah, very and, earthy. And well, very they, pretty. they had a bunch of plants like, it, similar to the Korean airport where it was like they had plants inside but then they also had this really beautiful like even just the pickup zone like outside the airport was just so much foliage yeah and and it, it was, was so green was Insta so and we got in at night like midnight yeah so you know obviously everything looks different in the day but like it was still very tropical still very gorgeous yeah you know I everything was really great it worked out so I'm just I'm just so happy to be here we're on day two day one I don't even know. When this is, <laughs> wait. We just yeah. got here. No, this is the second day. Oh, day. 
And we did all day yesterday. And it's so, oh my God. But we've been on it and like really trying to get our sleep. Yeah. Start early. Yeah. Get coffee. But it's been great. Like the coffee here is so wonderful. That kind so of stuff. Good. But it's really cool being able to go to somewhere that's like just a totally different culture. And I think like I wish more people had the opportunity or even the desire, I guess, to kind of like see stuff outside of the U.S. just like the way that things are. Because I know a lot of people who have never traveled and I have, well, I have no reason. I have everything I need right here. And it's like, but there's so much more out there. Yeah, no, like, for there's real. There's so much. There's so much. And like, for me, like I said, this is like my first time traveling, really. Mm-hmm. So like, it's a culture shock in the most beautiful way. Yeah. You know, and like, I think that, I mean, everyone should definitely like, you know, write in their diary tonight, dear diary, you know, one day I'm going to make it to Bali or wherever you want to go. You yeah, know, like wherever. just promise yourself that you're going to make that, you know, happen in your life because mm-hmm. this is unbelievable. Like literally, yeah. this is just the best experience. So like, thank you. I feel like every day that we have been here, we've both just been like, wow. Yes. This is, this is the life that we're living. And like, thank you guys so much for like, being here to kind of like, yeah. at least we're able to like kind of yeah. share the experience a little bit that way for people who may not want to travel or can't or whatever. But I would love to be able to do more like this with you because it's like we're getting so much fun content filmed. Yeah. We're just enjoying, relaxing. And then we get to kind of like share all these fun adventures. Exactly. That we've had, which is really, really awesome. So I hope that you guys are enjoying it as well. But yeah. And this is just, you know, the start. This is just the so- start. <laughs> Get ready, guys. Get ready. There's more. There's much more. <laughs> and I know we're going to be able to go for hours, but we're doing multiple episodes. So there you go. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I'm so excited. At this point, I hope that you guys enjoyed the Halloween episode, too, because that was very fun to that, shoot. That was so fun. Yeah. Like our Chucky and yeah. <laughs> Tiffany one, look. One interesting thing, too, is kind of like when I was in Mexico and I was telling you, like, how cheap everything is. Yeah. Same. Although... <laughs> Should we talk yes. about it? Yes. <laughs> so we were like, all right, we need to go shopping because you know, we, we packed just, light. We packed light so that we could, you know, find some things. And then, you know, the first time we're going out and getting whole breakfasts for like $20 for three people and all this stuff. And we're like, oh, so we'll go shopping. And so we went out and the, the number one thing, thing was for shoes. We needed shoes because we didn't really pack any shoes because shoes are heavy. And flip flops. The place we're going for dinner was like no flip flops. And we're yeah. like. Damn it. And I was like, how am I going to find shoes if it my Sasquatch feet in a country full of tiny people? I don't even like. And also, we were looking for shoes that weren't just going to, like, fall apart or, yes. like, kill your feet. So, mm-hmm. so you know, I, Molly I does it research. I did my research because, you know, I got to gotta know the places. And she so dove in, yo. I did. I looked at multiple places. But we finally decided to try this one. And the shoes were just beautiful. Gorgeous. And they were, like, handmade and all this stuff. Every color. And every Laura, style and Laura starts going ham because I'm like here we go all right let me explain myself <laughs> I notice our money goes a long way here that's and a that's, shirt let me explain myself let me explain wait a minute oh, wait a before minute. we get into this I will tell you my version of this beginning I see all the shoes I get very excited I think I'm gonna do whatever I want while I'm on this trip. I'm gonna treat myself. You were really working so to... hard beforehand. We all did. You abandoned me. Well, for that we. Episode. Hey, don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Okay. Okay. Anyways, and so yeah, um, it was it was like shoe heaven. Yeah. I'm I'm running true. around the store finding like five different pairs. Give me this size. Give me this size. Trying them on. I'm like, okay, I've narrowed it down to three, right? Mm-hmm. Which and then. And I found a pair of mirac- miraculously that were a size too small. But they fit. So Beautifully. Like, okay. Beautiful. And they're all so pretty, you know? And the woman was so nice and she kept being like, because they had these cool little bags made out of, do I have it in here? Yeah. Well, there's one here. Oh, oh yeah, the sure. coffee one. Yeah. It's okay. I'll show it to them a different time. But so check it out. Imagine this, but bigger and made out of a coffee sack, which you guys know me and coffee. Yeah. And like, how adorable. Right? So cute. So, cute. And so, so shout like, out to that. Oh, I'll get like one of the coffee sacks. And she's like, cool. And then she was like, oh, that's that that will be free. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and by this point, Laura had got two shoes. Two. And then she picked out a third shoe. And but, she was like, would you like this other free bag? Which is like a red one of this little Well, no, bag. I had four shoes and I narrowed it down to three. But it was as you were going, she kept offering more, more. and more bags. And so I was getting a little suspicious. suspicious. And I'm, and I'm like, not. I'm like, 
I was this like, is great. This, this is, is like, Bali. Why is there so much free stuff? Like, I don't understand. Then she's like, I want these shoes. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm going to get them for you because well, I love you. Because I love little, you. Well, a little pre-birthday present because you won't be able to celebrate my birthday with me yeah. this year. But I'm like, it was a pre-gift. And mm -hmm. I was like, fuck it. You know, we're in Bali. <laughs> Sorry for the curse that's, words. No, that's that's like the we're way past the ten minute mark. Okay, that's, good. That's that's like been your entire vibe this whole time. Fuck it, we're in Bali. Yeah, <laughs> literally. And like when I just saw how far the money went with the currency exchange, I was just like feeling like you know the Monopoly man. Like hey, just racks on racks, 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 racks. So then she's totaling up the shoes. <laughs> dun dun dun. Because all the bags were free dun, dun, at this dun, point. Dun 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 dun. Four pairs, correct? Four yeah, pairs total. Four pairs. She gives me the grand total of over 500 plus US dollars. <laughs> so it was like 9 million rupia. I hope I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, I think that is. Uh, whatever the currency is here. And I pretty much shit myself. Her face. Well, it was just, more like a... So she had pulled out her phone calculator, right? My and currency calculator. Came, her face looked like someone had just backhanded her. It felt like, like I got bitch slapped. Literally, I was like, whoa. And I was like... I wasn't expecting, I grabbed all the cash I had, and then I was like still short a couple hundred bucks at least, maybe three, and I was like, uh, yeah, so, and then <laughs> Molly jumps in, it's fine, I'll take I got thing. this, and I was like, this was supposed to be a gift. It's okay, it's a special trip for my special lady. But not only that, like, you know, it was She's also so nice, so it was like, we so didn't nice. want to like have, wait, like, taken up all of her time and then be like, Ooh, we're gonna put back half of this stuff, you know? And I like... should have put at least one pair back, because remember, I got home and I was like, oh, I didn't even know these ones were in the bag. I was like, wait, what did well, I get? To be fair, I think there was a little misunderstanding, because you did tell her that you were gonna put the ones back. Yeah. And I don't think that she understood when I was like, oh, I'll put Or she understood, <laughs> but, you know, was trying to make the day. But she was very nice. So, oh, and, you know, you can't put a price on beauty. <laughs> like, those shoes were just they're handmade and works handmade. of art. Like, can you imagine, though, buying a pair of handmade? Look, Handmade leather shoes in the states. Look at these pay stunning, almost the same price for like beautiful. One pair. Hello, I'm very, I'm very happy. So thank you, mm. thank you for jumping in. That's why she's my bestie. <laughs> I love her. So I buy her things. We gotta get more money well. today. Yes. Later we, today. We do. And um, yeah, that was just like the funniest thing because leaving there, I just couldn't get over the fact that that happened. And we had just started the shopping excursion. We had plans yeah. to rip the whole street apart with all the shopping like we were I ready mean, we to still just, like, did but everywhere took uh, took debit cars <laughs> and, and i think they did too but it was just like whoa you know whoa. and like whoa. Whoa. and we stocked up on a lot of cool souvenirs for later mm -hmm. and i feel like we did a great day of shopping there it was, was actually really good too because we did so much walking yeah and that really helped with the whole cankle situation because <laughs> yeah. let me tell you Ooh. those long flights oh unlike the it, on the longest flight, I got was starting to get in my knees, you know, because got these long old legs, and you're all sitting like this in the plane seat, you know. <laughs> but by that last eight hour flight, I kept trying to like stretch out my leg, like it's the best way that I could. But it's like you have to keep your bag under the seat, so there's nowhere for your feet to go. So I'm trying to shove them around like the sides yeah. of the bag, and I'm like, just let me extend my fucking legs. <laughs> And that's how it felt. Like, you want to scream that. Yes. Like, can I just put this my back up? And, and some then, people are walking the plane. Yeah. And then, and, and then it was really dark. And so it was like most people were like, oh, like going to sleep or whatever. So I was like, here, I can finally like stretch my leg out into the aisle. And then as soon as I do, a stewardess comes out of nowhere and like almost trips over me. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying. It starts to hurt so bad, like after you're sitting that long. Mm -hmm. And then <sighs> I've never seen my ankles that big before. Like... Ah, uh, yeah, mine are still Everybody going down <laughs> yeah. a little. They're still going through. The, the walking really, really helps. Also, just right, being able to, like, raise your legs like yeah. and sleep properly helps. Mm -hmm. So we're two days in. I hope these babies go back down before I got to go back up to the air. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> Imagine they just still are swollen and I'm like, like I get back to Vegas and they're just like, they're just, <laughs> it's just like swollen. Like. You should get you some tight socks. I have some. Back. Oh, I yeah. Those. That, I did, that did help me a little bit wearing the tight socks that I was. But Lesson was, learned. What else was funny is we went and Laura wanted to find a bikini. 
Yes. And then she's also like asking me like <laughs> if, if I need a bikini or anything because she wants. Oh, so it's her she, birthday. Well, like oh soon coming yeah, up, and I'm like so she wanted to get me something because she didn't end up getting me the shoes because I kind of bought the shoes. And so she starts telling the lady like you know I I'm getting a birthday present for Molly and like blah blah blah. But I don't think the lady understood. So the entire time they were going through with this woman who was helping us, she thought it was Laura's birthday. So at the end, her. And the other woman who was working the shop started singing happy birthday to Laura. It was ridiculous. It was I was like, but I just like was like, I don't know what to do. She's just so sweet, so happy. They're like, happy birthday! They were so Laura, excited. Laura! And I'm like, guess it's yeah, my birthday. My birthday <laughs> yeah, where was that discount though? She's like, I give you birthday discount. I, I think I think it's kind of just more like Being sweet. They, they decide what the price is. You know what I mean? There's the price and then it's like There's I don't the think they tie on a discount because every time that I've seen us buy something, they just put the amount in mm -hmm. the calculator. They have their know. own and it's like um circle K. Yeah. When I wanted to get a bottle of soju and the guy goes, Oh, I can't sell this, but I could just do it for cash. Yeah, it was so, it was so <laughs> weird. I was like, you can't and you sell got this. It, and you got it for cheaper. Than yeah. Because you just gave him cash. So. Yeah, it was like 50000 rupee at cheaper. Like, I think you might have just done like an illegal alcohol trade. <laughs> might have. But I don't know why he couldn't sell it if it was there. Was it like not the proper time? I don't know. I don't is know. There, is there like a maybe, curfew? Ooh, that could be. I wonder I was, if Maybe it's too early in the let day. Me, let me see. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. I'm curious. Yeah, I was just like... So did we just do like a deal? Yeah, like I felt like, and he was like, all right, what, what flavor was that? And I was like, peach. And he's like, thank you, have a good day. Laura, shopping for women is so fun. How much shopping have we done in Bali? Um, we've been shopping every single day. So many different Almost, kinds of outfits. Yeah. Tops, bottoms, shorts. It feels like women's fashion changes all the time. But with guys, it's like, it's always pants, shirt. Shorts. Shorts, maybe. Maybe. And it's, it all pretty much looks the same, right? And honestly, sometimes when I buy stuff for my man, it just doesn't fit him right, especially if I'm buying online and I don't know what it is until it arrives. You know what I mean? Sizing too. No, it's yeah. awful. And especially my man, oh, he's so pretty. He's got these big shoulders, but he has this tiny little waist. Huge. Oh, he's Huge. so massive. So it's hard to find things that fit him well in the shoulders and the waist. Right. No, I, I could find that. I, I could see how that'd be challenging. Yeah, for sure. Seriously. I don't know. Oh, that's another thing. Like, okay, so when you find something that fits you so well, you're just like, oh, I feel good. Yeah. And when you feel good, you look good. Right. Well, luckily for everybody today, our sponsor of this show is True Classic. Now, Yay! maybe you guys have heard of True Classic on other podcasts, mm -hmm. but you should only be listening to this podcast, of course. But did you know that at True Classic Tees, they have sizing that goes all the way up for even like the big boys out there. Ooh, what they told me nice. is they have tall and XXL sizing on all their staple colors. Mm -hmm. They're more than just a t-shirt company. They have all the menswear staples that your guy could ever need. Polos, workout shirts. Oh, signature splattering fit. Oh. You want to be flattered, don't you? If, if you go out and you wear clothes and you look good, you want some compliments, right? Yes, yes you duh. want compliments? If we want compliments, the men want compliments Y'all want to get noticed. We Y'all want to get noticed. <laughs> They're more than just a t-shirt company. And I mean, honestly, they also have a pack builder on their website where you can custom bundle all of their essential products and save even more of a discount than we're offering you guys today. Yes. Um, we get 25% uh, off at trueclassictees.com with code TWND. Free shipping is also included on purchases over $100. Score! So you could just completely upgrade your wardrobe and feel good while doing it. Save your money! <laughs> save, save money. So you can shop more. Yeah. So let's see. Um, they're completely different. They have a closer fit in the arms and chest to highlight your guys' best assets. Ooh, the hey. pecs. Get those pecs popping in true classic. <laughs> They have a little wiggle room in the torso to keep things cozy and streamline your look, so not too tight in the waist, mm -hmm. but also not too tight in the chest. All of their styles are super soft and affordable. Out with the old ratty t-shirts that you've been hanging on to since Varsity Volleyball. Bye. Did you guys play Varsity Volleyball? Let us know in the comments. But you've <laughs> got to get these for the man or for yourself. Yes. You know what I mean? This is a gift that he will actually love, and believe me, you will too. And to demonstrate how amazing these t-shirts are, we have a model today. What? Are you we excited? Do? Yeah. Who? He's so hot. Come on in. Let us drool over you. No? Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Oh, I heard the door. 
Jump roll. Oh! Wow! Oh, oh my God! Oh, come, come, soon. come join. Right oh, it's so pretty. What? Look at those bits. How am I ever gonna find a shirt to fit those massive pecs and shoulders and that itty bitty waist with a brown face and your face you get All right, baby. I'm gonna give you this beautifully soft t-shirt. Now, let me know how you think it feels. Ooh, that's a nice color. Alone. That feels good. Yeah. I think it will bring out the colors in your eyes. It's really soft. Mm. Soft nice. like, soft like my, yeah, soft like my skin. <laughs> Softer than your skin. Oh, do you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Turtle classic tees are softer than my skin, and I moisturize and exfoliate Ex daily. And it's really fucking soft. It's really it's soft. It's like baby, baby soft. But even with as sweaty as he is, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Damn, it mm. fits like a glove. That's wonderful. But not too snug. That's fantastic. Look at that. All right, so turn like this. Mm, not too tight in the waist. I like that. It leaves you a little bit room, so it's not like hugged in too much. And then take a seat. Nice. Ooh, that fits your shoulders really well. How does it feel? How big yeah, they it. are. That's a nice color too. You're gonna keep it on. Makes your eyes pop. That's a nice color. Yeah, it's fantastic. So if you guys want to not only feel good but look good, well. Half of the battle of feeling good is looking good. So if you also want to look good, go to trueclassictees.com and use code TWND. You get 25% off and free shipping on orders over $100. That's a no-brainer. So build yourself <laughs> a pack, an entirely new wardrobe, and help support the podcast that you guys love so much. And thank you to this model for being here this today. Hunk. Oh, this is how we get more female viewers. Jordan Perry told us so. Yes. All right, now get out of here. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, True Classic, for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you, True Classic. Mwah. <laughs> uh, see, I'm just curious. So, yeah, is there a Bali curfew? <laughs> so, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun here, guys, learning all about the city. Um, I don't see anything about that, but, I mean, it could be something. I, don't, I have no idea. We'll ask next time. Yeah. We'll have to figure it out. But uh, it's been it's been really, really great. Oh my god though. Something that just like pulls my heartstrings, like it makes me miss my dog so much. Bali is I just realized I was like covering the microphone. Sorry about that. And um <laughs> there's so many strays here. So and many. It breaks my heart. Like we saw we were walking for breakfast one of the days and we saw this dog. I'm really like sad thinking about it. She had these big <laughs> cue droopy, the sad music. She had these big droopy nipples. And, like <laughs> she clearly just given birth and she looked so happy but clearly so covered in fleas. Yes. And then we saw we saw two dogs, you know, kind of Take going another take another dog against her will, if you know what I mean. It was just going on. <laughs> like Laura's like <laughs> <laughs> You know me with the camera. I get right in there. Right in. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, she sent it to me. It's a live photo. So it's like <laughs> She didn't even know I had it in the next day she was telling her friend about it and I'm like, You want the photo? I have it. <laughs> I got the proof. It was, but it was it was really BTS. So sad. Like, they're all so sweet and like I'm sure not all of them are sweet. I heard um, from my man that he, someone he knew got attacked by a, by one of the yep. sprays out here. And they have fleas, I guess, right, you yeah. said? Yeah, for sure. I mean, <laughs> with this one I felt so bad because he was really so cute and like looked like he was very fluffy at one point, but he was chewing so much and his whole skin was, was just pink. like hot pink. Like, I'm talking like this, yeah. hot pink. Like, Red, it irritated. Was not. And, I, and I just like... <laughs> I was like, I want to take you all home and cure you. <laughs> like, yeah. But, but you can't do they it. They need but, help. Yeah, it's sad. Like, And I've heard from many people that it's like, well, there's just so many of them that it's kind of like cats in, in some areas of like the U.S. where it's like just so many feral cats. But here it's dogs. And it's like people just run them over. And because it's just like, what? It's basically like hitting a bird or something, you know, to In them. their it's eyes, I like, feel like, yeah, that's so sad. And it's if we ever sad. do move here, it's because we found a dog and I'm just that we start just a, can't a, a leave. Dog rescue, which I feel I'm like just... they all are just so cute. So it's hard to pick one. Like I know this is like this would <laughs> this would be like my man's worst nightmare. But I just like have like a dog resort where I just like yeah. take care of dogs. Yeah, it's it's a real thing. She would. She would I totally would do it. I would. You know. I hope the corgis are ready. 
much. Yeah, they want to like that so much. They already have enough they like, already... attachment issues as it is. Yeah, they already like fight over the attention. Someday right? when I'm old, maybe I'll do that when the corgis are gone. Which oh no, we oh. don't even go there. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> stop. I was thinking how old I know. Stop. No. <laughs> They're still oh babies. God. They're still babies. They are. They are still babies. But yeah. but also but also not because I'm just getting older. <laughs> he's a sweet man. We he's a sweet sweet know. man, and he's living the best life. He's yeah. living the best. They are all living their best lives. They're are you all kidding very me? spoiled. Like they have no <laughs> idea how spoiled they actually are. Like I treat them like children, and yeah. I have full conversations with them. And they they talk back. Yeah, they do. With their I'm, eyes. And well, sometimes and I'm, barks. I doesn't bark. He's like, oh, oh, oh. He does. He's very he vocal. He tries to formulate words, but it just, he hasn't gotten there yet. One Someday. day. One day. Like on his deathbed. No. He'll be he's like, a full cover. I love you. Yeah. And then he'll, and you know, I hope, I hope for that. Anyway. I mean, that's literally. I'd love to hear him talk once before he dies. I'm just curious what his voice would sound like. <laughs> oh, and I have this fancy thing on. Want to say what that's for? Oh. <laughs> Look. So you guys will also notice these pretty little curtains here. And I thought Netting. it was just pretty little curtains. It's I not. It's because you will get attacked by mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why I haven't opened them is because I'm like, I can't put them back so pretty. I'm just going to leave it. Well, <laughs> but here's the thing. Now you can because I didn't realize it. I didn't even know when I booked the villa that there's a cleaning lady every day. She had like, the first day off because of like um, some sort of religious thing oh yeah some kind of thing like that so she had the day off but today she was here she was super nice yeah and just cleaned everything up for us and fast and it wasn't very dirty i'm one of those people like do you, when you go to hotels or whatever do you just like leave it trashed when you leave because i swear to god Ooh. i do i go around to all the little baskets and i put them like all and consolidate <laughs> them into one thing i will like take a tissue and wipe down dust mm -hmm. like before I leave because I'm just like I can just don't imagine be those jerks. that for uh, for a lot of people I feel like a lot of people just like leave it shitty yeah you know what I mean I mean destroy cool. it while you're there like throw your stuff everywhere while you're there but then I feel like I mean I know it's like oh it's their job but it's like they have to do that every day and it's isn't like, it nice to make it a little bit easier yeah exactly <laughs> like, think of others people like i ended up using a mug and a spoon while she was here and i went and she had done the dishes so i bring it in and i start washing and she's like no i can do it and i was like no i don't I don't care. Oh, I'm just, just I feel bad. Food. I left it's my little soju cup in there. <laughs> Girl, don't worry about it. But it was just, yeah, I just, I, I don't like to leave things messy. But it's also like my house is never messy either. For nah. the most part. If it does, you'll know because I'm strung out. Like, and I'll just be like. I think everything needs to have a place mm -hmm. and it, to enjoy what you have, it needs to be clean. Yeah. You won't appreciate your stuff if it's like a mess. That's true. And you just, it feels better when like everything just looks right. Yeah. You're like, oh. And, when, and then it's also like if it's clean, like you know where everything is. Yep. You're not like stressing. And the problem comes when you're like, ooh, I'll reorganize it in a way that's better. And then it takes like a month to get used to the way because <laughs> you can't find you're like, it. Where did I put that? Yeah. It's always that way. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, mosquitoes are here. Yes. I drench, we drench ourselves in. The mosquito bug yeah. stuff, the ch it does help. It does help, yeah. I mean, you'll still get a bite here and there, but it's not that bad. But I, it's funny because there's almost like no mosquitoes in Vegas. Like yeah. every now and then if you have a really wet time when it's still warm, then you'll yeah. get a couple maybe. But out here there's just so many. I'm always like slapping everywhere. Yeah. This way. <laughs> we, went, we went to breakfast. <laughs> oh, my God. This is good. <laughs> I'm uh, taking pictures. You guys will, you guys will have seen because I posted it on Instagram, I'm sure. But... Um, <laughs> I start getting attacked, you know, down on my legs. And so the, they were really nice at the shop and they brought us, you know, they brought us out some bug spray. We're like, oh, awesome, cool. So we spray we it. on it. But then I, I get, you know, that paranoid feeling of, you know, when you did have bugs crawling on and biting you that you just randomly feel them. Yeah. <laughs> and we're trying to take a cute picture of me and my man, right? So I get in and it's all cute. And then I feel a bug crawling on me. So I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> in the middle of me taking photos. And it's my own freaking hair. <laughs> like, it's not even. I know. Bug. You're like, oh, oh, okay. I like it's how I just went like this taking photos, but really it was like this because I was using the iPhone. <laughs> I do like the I camera motion. <laughs> Actually, what's cool is we did bring our little disposable cameras. Yeah, and, and it, we've been taking a lot of Polaroids, so it's still yeah. kind of the same thing. We love Polaroids. A little, a little like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I would also like to point out that someone still has not started their camera. Oh, yeah, fuck. That's right. I'm doing that today. Today. <laughs> Let's we do must it. Do it. <laughs> Let's do it. So, yeah, stay tuned. We'll Y'all know what we're talking about. We're going to have to get these different tiers because, of course, 
pretty soon if you guys can make this happen. And if you do, I will love you forever. Laura showing me her naked body. You don't get to see it. But I get to see it. And Laura gets her bag. And you, you know get to see her see me. Mm-hmm. So it all works. I'll be naked. You oh, they act naked. We can just be naked together. <laughs> they can't see naked. Sorry. Oh. We'll just, okay. oh, my God. Sorry. We'll just, I'll just, we'll just, I'll be sitting there naked. And you're standing back there naked. I'll just be like, wow, we're both naked. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So ridiculous. What's this? Oh, hey, you know what else has been cool? There's all these, like, um, millipedes. <laughs> yeah, they're very pretty. Been, and so the villa that we rented is kind of this, like, indoor-outdoor space, which is super cool. And it's so but there, So, of course, there's, like, bugs everywhere, like, little ants and blah, blah, But yeah, Tiny, tiny spiders, beautiful teenies. beautiful millipedes, and they just, they go fast. Like, they book it, and they move, like, so gracefully. It reminds me, I was saying, yeah. of those, like, I don't know if you guys have seen those, like, <laughs> Russian dances where it's, like, so many, like... Women, I think they, I think there's an Asian one too that's in, I think it had played in Vegas if it's not still, but they move and they dance and they glide in such a way, especially with the skirts, that it really looks like they're just like floating, floating. along. They're like magical. And that's how the movie is like, that's what it makes me think of. They're just really, really cool. They're pretty. And then butterflies. We've so seen a couple of beautiful butterflies with like bluish, yeah. like shiny yeah. wings and some birds, which I know you're like, whatever, fuck the birds. Yeah, 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 that's what was like. She's like, oh, you can hear all the beautiful birds. And I'm like, uh-huh, you can hear the birds. It's so beautiful, <laughs> all the birds. So, I mean, I'm not a huge bird person either, but I still like, I'm like, oh. And then every night when we go to bed, it's usually raining, which is like a really beautiful, peaceful sound. Falling asleep to the rain. I'm just so like, good. yes. Yes, it's very relaxing. So it's been a it's been a really fun experience so far, and I can't wait to see the other stuff we're gonna do. Yeah, so we have I mean, plans to go snorkeling, which Laura has not done before. Never. So that's gonna be really fun. I used to surf, but never snorkel. Yeah, people. I found that out on this trip too, guys. She used to surf. Well, I just remembered that, like, growing up, and I was really into, like, the pro surfers, because, mm -hmm. like, I grew up in Huntington Beach. Yeah. So we'd go to, like, the U.S. Open every year where, like, the people would compete for all that. And, like, you know, so I kind of followed a few pe few pros mm -hmm. in, the, in that time frame. I was, like, probably 15, 16. And, you know, like... Learning about like pro surfers, they all came to Bali. Yeah, you were saying that. And it's because I, I just think it's because like they have really big waves here, mm -hmm. and like it's like a surfer's dream. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of surfing in Australia too, and um, something like this is um, it kind of from what I understand, Bali is kind of um, uh, Australia's Vegas, as it were, like where you go for debauchery. You know what Australia's I mean? Australia's like, Hawaii. I thought. It's Australia's well, Vegas? Well, was saying more like Vegas because it's, it's like party? where they go to party. Oh, and, I get it. Yeah, it's like the different party zones. Which you know? is true because like... Some areas of Bali are very Muslim, so it's like, but the tourists, more areas. I, I think, I, I want to say, I don't know if this is correct, and if you guys know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that it's like Muslim and Buddhism yes. mostly. So it's been kind of cool, actually. It's like when we go walking around... Um, Isn't it Hindu? Is that the same thing as Buddhism? Yeah, it could be Hindu. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really sure. So I. I They're very cultured it, but, here. But yeah. But what's really cool is so there's a lot of like um, just beautiful architecture, and they have like so a lot of like um, shrine type things, like just in like normal houses and entryways that are really beautiful to look at. And then um, every morning they're actually doing it at the restaurant that yeah. we're at this morning. So they'll have these little like woven baskets made out of I think like palm fronds and stuff like that. And yeah. then they fill it with little offerings and incense. Yeah. So it's like it would be a little bits of food and all that. Like and a little like banana, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit of white rice. Whatever they they're adorable. They look like really good snacks, to be honest. I know. <laughs> and I took a picture of one of them, sent it to my boyfriend, and he goes, Was that your breakfast? Me? <laughs> I was like, like on the street. It was. It was on the floor. You're just like, all Probably right. Probably next oh. to one of the dogs. This morning I saw a cat eating from one of them. And yeah, I, was I like, saw the cats eating too. I was like, well, these these animals live well yeah, they for live food well. if they want to eat that. And yeah. maybe the offerings are to them. Maybe, maybe they are the gods. Maybe. You never so. know. I mean, there's what there's all that talk about cats being gods in like Egyptian times and all that. Like, That's they true. They worship the cats and... That so, makes sense for that cat. Anub I thought Anubis was a dog, but it looks feline. Oh, well, look that up. Anubis? Is, have you heard of Anubis? Mm -mm. Heard it of a pubis. <laughs> 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 Stupid. Oh, jackal. Anubis was a jackal. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. So not really a cat, but that's still go very cool. Yeah, but looks cats? like a cross between a dog and like a. I don't know, coyote. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dog cat. Do you remember that show on Nickelodeon, Cat Dog? Like the most. Messed I think up. so. Yes. That's a long time ago. That's so long ago. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> you brought me back, girl. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh Took me God. way back. Oh, lots of uh, good bakeries here. So many good in bakeries. In Bali, the coffee is fantastic too. Coffee is amazing. Oh, so you guys will notice some of you have asked um, if this. Like, I have a bunch of little tattoos. They're not <laughs> real. They're from Inkbox. Um, not sponsored. Just if you guys are curious about temporary tattoos, they're fun. <laughs> and <laughs> I did mine before the trip. Yes, yeah, right? I was like, oh, the, I'll get it done. So I thought Laura was gonna do hers before the trip too, but she didn't have time. I just so, had like a crazy week before we left. Yeah, you were working so much. But it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Thank yeah. you, everyone, for like you know no, trusting me with your faces. It's fantastic, but you're just busy. And so then we we're like, oh, we'll put them on you today because I got a little mushroom and I got her this really pretty yeah. like uh, diamond, you know, looking thing. And we're going to the beach tomorrow, so I really wanted to like have something like because look how cool they look. Yeah, they, they, they look they dope. Come out fun. Look at the little one in your hand too. Yeah, so cool. But <laughs> but so we get it all done and we prepped everything. We're doing it all. I and had then, her do it because so I was like, help, help, put it on right. And then the cleaning lady comes and we're like oh so we should get out of this room because this where is the they, cool room where the air conditioning is so we sit out there where it's humid we finally come back in the room to take it off and it's just it's a just green a blob, blob over and i don't know if you guys could see i mean i could kind of stand yeah, sure. here <laughs> it's, you see it's right there and i it's only gonna get darker I <laughs> just keep scrubbing it every day. We got those exfoliating gloves. So what I'll start saying is that it's my tattoo that I'm on like my, my third or fourth like session remo like your laser of removal. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going away. But I felt so bad because the mushroom was like almost there. His cap was good, but is then he looked like someone had made him like milk. He's a little there. Yeah, he's a little there, but he's actually kind of cute when we wiped off some of the other stuff. Yeah, I was just like, faded. man. But so maybe I'll just go get a tattoo while I'm here. Like a real one. Do it. No. <laughs> I'll get one with you. I'll make the snake real. Fuck. I know. This snake is dope. The snake is pretty dope. You do. Dope. I actually snake. do really like the snake. You know, leave a comment. Write or call yeah. in. Should I get a snake tattoo on my thigh? Because I'm kind of living for it. Let her know. I think she's uh, definitely I, needs one. I don't know why, but particularly in like handstands, I feel like it looks super cool. Because it's just it's like just a hot. It's, it's just cool. hot. I like it. Yeah. I I, I'm Ooh. into it. So... Well, something else that was really cool, too, even though we don't have new voicemails and stuff like that, I don't even remember that this was an option on Anchor, but you can leave, I guess, through Spotify, I think, you can leave Q&As on episodes. And so there was a Q&A from, it's very recent, but it's from episode nine with Kay Carter before you were yes! even on the podcast. Kay Carter, we love you! We love you, Kay. She's like, I don't listen to this. I don't. <laughs> um, it's a, uh, what's her character? Siri? Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, because I really think that um, Kay Carter looks a lot like in her face and stuff like Siri from The Witcher. So I I see that, it. So we thought it'd be fun to maybe do like a Geralt and Siri like gender bender like cosplay type thing with Kay. Eventually, it would be pretty fun. Let us know if you want to see that. All right. So I don't know how to say this name. Farhan? Farhan? So I'm not, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but what are major red flags for a woman in regards to a guy's personality or mannerisms? Major red flags mm -hmm. on guys. Um, are, like, are you dating the guy or is it just a guy that you know? A mullet. I'm a mullet? <laughs> you do your mullet, let your freak flag fly, I don't even know. <laughs> um, I guess some mullets could be kind of hot. Uh -huh. Um. Like, red flags for me would be, like, someone who has a lot of excuses, you know? Like, mm -hmm. for not, like, for multiple reasons. Like, someone you could just tell, like, isn't putting in the effort or, like, just has an answer for everything, too. Yeah. Or someone who's not a good listener. I, that's, that's the other thing. Like, okay, so not listening is a big thing now. For me, I've, I've always been very much, like, a listener, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which is why... The podcast was different for the longest time because it was all like you know talking but that's like i think that's why i'm pretty 
I'm going to toot my own horn, but fairly decent at, at podcasting, you know, in general, just because, like, I... I do listen a lot and I try to like retain that, you know, through the conversation because I wasn't someone who would speak up very much. When I did, I wanted to make sure that I had something to contribute to yes. the conversation. That's how I feel. So, but I often have felt in many ways, and this is not just with men, but especially if I was looking to like date someone, which I would like to throw this out there. I'm not. <laughs> I have, I have someone, so I'm very sorry if that throws you off me, but that's, I'm sorry, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So, but if I was, then definitely listening is a huge thing because it's kind of like when you have someone that kind of just talks over you, and I'm not saying like, oh, someone has to agree with everything that I say or think, absolutely not, no. but it's kind of like, I've, I've often had, you know, it's like when, all right, so say that you've had like a fight with someone or a disagreement or whatever. And then um, something that I used to do a lot was kind of like write out how I was feeling because it was, it's a lot easier for me to like formulate my thoughts and like write out how I'm feeling rather than, rather than talk about it. Cause yeah, it is. And while you're writing, I feel like it's kind of therapeutic. It's why I like things like journaling and all that kind of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. especially cause if you're kind of just like not taking a moment to figure out how you're feeling, you can say things that you don't mean, you know, or, or any of that kind of stuff, or say things that you do mean in a mean way. Like you know the what? Dear Diary, you know? Mm -hmm. Dear Diary, this is what I want to put into like motion, mm -hmm. or this is what I need to process. Mm -hmm. But when you're in that situation, I've had this, even with friends as well, where it's like, I'll, I'll say how I'm feeling, and it's like, it's just not coming from a place of anger or whatever, but here's all the things I'm thinking, and then, when you get a reply, it like disregards everything positive in it and sticks out on one or two little things like, oh, well, you think that, you know, it's my problem for this. And it's like, well, at that point, you're just listening for reasons to like disagree or to like continue an argument or any of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing is, yeah, like communication is. Yeah, that's a of, huge one. One of the big things. Also, I'm I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but trucks that are jacked. <laughs> high up to the heavens because why nobody needs that you know no. that feels like red flag territory to me yeah yeah you know, controversial opinion but it's like i agree another red flag hygiene <clears throat> oh my god like wash wash yourself I know make I sure you wear your <laughs> deodorant yeah. i know i've mentioned it because i know i mentioned wash it for and like i said it's not just an avian convention that there's a smelly problem it's all conventions but it's all that kind of stuff because like, that's a red flag for me with women too like everyone you know where if you get in a situation especially like sexual or whatever but even not like if you're just gonna be around someone like you know not everybody's gonna smell like roses all the freaking time but it's like you can do things to like you know show that you're clean like if someone's just like wearing you know dirty clothes for like when they have Days. no reason to there's like, soap and water dudes mm -hmm. Some yeah. water exists. Or just, yeah, any of that. Because to me, it kind of shows, like, when there's, like, a lack of hygiene, to me, it kind of shows that, well, it's not even necessarily that you don't care about how other people perceive you, but it's also, like, you don't care about yourself. Yes. And so for me, it's kind of like, if you've reached a point where you don't care about yourself, then I can't expect you to care about me or mm -hmm. you know that kind of stuff because they're obviously it's, overwhelmed it's that old that old say of you you can't love someone till you love yourself kind of thing but it's true it's because so it's kind of like well it's disrespectful to yourself to not care for yourself in a way that's healthy and to keep yourself you know presentable and clean you know what i mean so that is definitely a big one it is and uh what else what else mm. someone yeah communication the big trucks hygiene I know that there's more. I'm trying to think, like, I feel like I've gotten so lucky with my man, like... I know. Um, um, liars? Does that go under anything? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I mean, Don't liars date a liar. in general. I feel like it's hard to know if someone is a liar until you have dated them for a while. Though. And you've found and I think, it. Yeah, I think there's, you know, all those different signs to watch out for. But I think another thing, too, is, for instance, how, how someone like talks about other people when they're not present but that also kind of like not just guys but that goes for anyone yeah because you can tell a lot about a person by how they talk about people who are not around mm -hmm. especially if you've seen those people in situations before and it seems like they're friendly and you know that everything's fine shit and then talkers. as soon as they're gone they're talking shit mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i've I don't, seen that i really that just really 
makes me angry. <laughs> like, because it's oh, like... Oh, so you're fake. It's like, oh, you're a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like, if you really felt this way about the That's person, serious. tell it to them. Because otherwise you have no balls or ovaries, you know, whatever it is, you know, whether you're a guy or a girl. It's like, if you don't like someone, then you don't have to, like, pretend to be around them. Just don't be around them. Or like stay away. Yeah, I just don't, I don't see a point to you know be all super nice to someone's face and then just be a bitch behind their back. Like you know, it's like at that point, like what what is the point of you ever even interacting with this other person? Mm -hmm. and, and after a certain point, it starts to feel like people who act like that and who talk like that. It's like I also then wonder. It's like well, when we're hanging out and when we're together, how do you speak about me to other people? Mm -hmm. Like. It's, it's fake. You can't trust them after that. Yeah. It's so kind of like, whoa, that I've seen that side lying. of you that's like not so pretty mm -hmm. or not so nice also. So yeah. um, definitely the whole thing of like, um, and I, you know, I know that you asked for guys, but I kind of feel like well, I'm bisexual and I look for flags everywhere and everyone and because like I've, had, those. I've had a lot of flags I've ignored in people in the past, you know what I mean? And that doesn't work out very well. Trust your gut because your gut typically knows, you know, even if you don't want to listen to it at first, <laughs> but People that kind of like, it's like whenever you're around them, right? They have blame to lay on others for why something isn't working out in their own life, whether it's relationships or work or anything like that. It's like, there's a point where it's like to complain to a friend, right? About things that are bad. But then it's like, it's like we talked about when Josh was on the podcast, but then move on. Like yeah. say what's upsetting you, move on. And some people just can't let it go. And you'll have just hours and hours of just this person did this and this person said this and this wasn't working this way but it was because this person and it's like that is just an endless cycle of like you know at the end of the day you have to look in and if those people are really that bad then figure out a way to like remove yourself from that situation because if you really can't get past that and just be like oh this thing sucked it happened i'm moving on then you're hurting yourself but you're also like hurting everybody else around you that you keep like complaining to mm -hmm. endlessly about something that people don't like that no and it, and it's kind friends of like, don't like that it's a drag on everything and it's like of course like we complain to each other about things but then it's like but then we have a good day and we try to move on yes that's we, why we talk we about it out. that's exactly right that's why i've always you know and i still will always say this these are many things and I, I even say as red flags as these are things that I've done myself, not all of them, but things, per, you know, even like when I was going through my divorce and stuff like that, it was like me trying to place all my blame um, for like everything that had happened on one person, right? But then it's like going through therapy, it's like, oh, well, that person wasn't the cause of everything, cause of a lot of things, but there are other people and then even my own actions that we're bringing all these bad things to fruition. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I think that's a the thing is like, uh, something that's a very positive thing and not a red flag is kind of just like, when someone can openly admit when they've made an error, when they've done something wrong and own it and come to you from a place of like, well, I want to do this better or how can we address this thing that's bothering me in like a positive and productive way, you know, but I would highly recommend that if you haven't and you have kind of any of these issues or if you're just feeling stuck and all of that is definitely try therapy. So Yeah, heal yourself too. Yeah. And you, they they don't sponsor the podcast, <laughs> but I'll say like better help is is what I did because I don't like going to in person stuff. I had tried that before. It was very hard and I know I've said before, you know, they have phone options, video options. I don't really li I don't like the video cuz it made it feel like work and so it was just a little phone call. Yeah. And you would be surprised cuz I had I had, I shouldn't say I had no expectations. I had expectations that it would do nothing. Do you know what I mean? And then it was like, I wouldn't say pleasantly surprising, but it was surprising when it was Good. like, oh, here are these things that are uncomfortable to talk about and to address, especially in myself. And it's like- It's hard, right? It's a hard pill to swallow when you're yeah. like addressing all like, That's what you told me. You were like, girl, like, cause you obviously have been sober now two plus years, you know, right? Two years? It'll be two years in November. So two years, and she did all the therapy completely oh, sober. Wait, wait, wait. Well, it's almost November. We're like I think it was like November seventh. Hang on. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, Hold please. I, just, I don't know if I still have this app because it's a new phone, but I'll check. Oh, the better help, yeah. No, oh, no, no. I have uh, the I had a so this is something I did for myself because I didn't go to AA. I didn't do any of that stuff. So there's just like a little tracker. 
um, on what? your phone. Yeah, the and one you told me yeah, to get. Nomo. 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 So you guys can Nomo. try this if you want. Um, it's it's actually no, really I can't cool. Log in. I don't it's really login. cool because like when you you know see it on your phone, how many days you've gone. Mm -hmm. It helps you. They even give you like tips to keep going. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, all right, if you have a moment of weakness, don't worry, like we got you. Or if you fall off, don't worry, start mm -hmm. over. It's very like positive. Yeah, it is. And, and it's, it's like great. And it's to... something that it's, it kind of can hold you accountable, mm -hmm. you know? And at the end of the day, like, especially if you're, I don't not saying like, oh, like don't drink or anything like that, but anything that you're trying to do, at the end of the day, it's up to you. I say that so often. We should make a t-shirt at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah, or stickers. Where did you even come from at the end of the day? Where, did, where does that even come from? And, uh, it's really where it all started from yeah. at the end of the day. <laughs> Two more shirts. <laughs> But it's like, at, you know, you you have to be the one to hold yourself accountable. It's just like, it's like, um, it's like working out, you know, where people will be like, oh my God, I wish, I wish I could be as fit as you. I wish my muscles looked like that. I wish, I wish, I wish. And it's like, you, you gotta do. Mm -hmm. You can't wish it because it's like, especially with things regarding your body, whether it's like sobriety, whether it's fitness, you know, whatever. Nobody else can make you do that. And honestly, anyone that I, I feel like if you're, if you have someone who's trying to make you do that, it makes you want to resist. It makes you not want to do it because it's like, you know what I mean? So it's like yeah. you have to find that within yourself and you have to want to change whatever it is in your life. You have to want that change and you have to accept that you're the only one who can do it. And think about it like this too. Like your parents raised you, right? Mm -hmm. And they told you, some, well, some parents, they kind of like hold the bar high and they'll be like, well, no, don't do that, do this. Oh no, don't do that, do this. And then you're like, fuck that, you know? I wanna do what I wanna do. Yeah. Or like, oh, I don't like who you're dating. So, you know, I don't approve. And so I'll marry him. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's like that. It's so like that. It's so messed So up. you gotta go through everything and you gotta realize what you need, what you don't need, and like, yeah. that's it. And that's it's all, it. It's all trial and error, but you know, it's like, <laughs> I, I just keep reminding people, like, if you feel stuck, you just have to remember that everyone has felt that at some point. And it's maybe not exactly the same whatever situation that you're struggling with, but everyone has felt hopeless. Everyone has felt like at some point in time, not their entire life, you know, not months, you know, it could be it could be just a day where someone, you know, can't get out of bed. A bad like day. And it's like, you're not alone in that. And I know that it's something mm -hmm. that's very easy to be like, <laughs> oh, you know, we have to be strong. We have to... Sorry, I we have stuff to do soon. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't keep an eye on. Oh that. yeah, yeah, we are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. We can't tell you where yet. Yeah, we all find out. Anything. You'll find out. <laughs> we um, just got plans. We have plans, <laughs> many plans, but, and we will share all the plans. Yeah, but but no matter what it is, just know that it may take some time, but you have to be ready and you have to be willing to put in so much work. And after, way, you, after you put in all that work there's still gonna be more work, but it will feel easier the more that you go. Because yes. it will feel every time that you've reached whatever milestone you're setting for yourself in any aspect, once you hit those little milestones, it feels great. I remember the first, like, the first two months that I had not drank and I didn't relapse because you know there was that one month and I was like oh, I won't drink for for a month and see how it goes. Yeah. And I was like I feel great, I'll drink again. You know? Yeah, that happened to me. But, <laughs> and then I felt so shitty because I was like, I didn't need this. Like, yeah. why did I do this and you know, mess stuff up again and all this? And it's like, once you start, you know, setting more reasonable goals and it's like, keep pushing yourself because it's not like, oh, I'm going to meet this goal and then just give up. Like, if you do that, you'll be right back to where you started and sometimes even worse off. Than yeah, you, started, you can cause spiral. Because then, then you start, you know, berating yourself, you know, and that's what happened to me. So I speak from experience where you start berating yourself. Well, I should have done this. I could have done this. And and what if I did this? Well, now I'm a piece of shit. And I'll just always be a piece of shit because I was a piece of shit before. <laughs> Don't be a crybaby. I'll call you a wambulance now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just know, no matter how you're feeling, whether you're happy, sad, depressed, hopeless, you know, anything. Everybody else has felt that at some point. And just, you're not alone. Just drink a liquid IV. Just drink a liquid IV. <laughs>
It's garlicwithivy.com. And use code TWND at checkout to save 15% and get free shipping on anything that you purchase. We love so, it. We actually we absolutely do. And we love you guys. We love you so much. So thank you all for joining us again for another week of the Totally Awesome Not Dirty podcast. And I cannot wait to see what the next year is going to bring. And I cannot wait to do another episode to update you guys on the yes. other fun stuff that we're going to be Me doing too. here. I'm very That's excited. Right. Yay. Make sure you leave your I comments. Love you. I love you. Thank you guys. Leave comments. Leave comments. Leave us your voicemails. 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 We really want voicemails. We love them so much. Emails are amazing too. TWND podcast at gmail.com. We hope you're enjoying all the content that we're bringing you guys. And also, you might even see us in another part of the villa next time. You might. We were thinking about, you know, switching it up and doing a few different places. But today there's construction. So we wanted to be Keep more the audio <laughs> proper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll see you next week. Just remember, hope is not lost. No. Unless you let it be. Don't let it! <laughs> Thank you.